You telling me if I use this pickaxe on this cobble, it's just gonna give me stone? Oh my god, that's exactly what it does. Will this give me iron? Yeah. All right, that's a pretty cool enchant, dude. The combination of the extra reach of our sword plus the jetpack, jeez, let's test it. Okay, goes up pretty quickly. What about forward? Does it move fast? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I still can't get over how freaking fast this jetpack is. Like we are zooming. All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Simply Modded. And today, oh man, if you guys thought that this was cool, today is not going to be as cool. But, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, dude. I actually have a pretty cool episode planned for today, and I really want to get into it. So let's just start talking about what the goals are for today. But real quick, just to touch base, um, I haven't really played that much in between uh, episodes. It's just been building up more and more uh, wood for us, which is going to be really nice for us to have. Oh, also, I made this little pink sleeping bag, which it's pretty much just a bed, but like it doesn't set your spawn. Also, it was daytime, so like it just placed it. But when it's nighttime, if you just put it down, it instant sleeps you. And when you wake up. It breaks it and puts it in your inventory. So a really convenient item, but we're not here to talk about sleeping bags. That's boring. We're here to talk about the future. And, and by that, I mean like right now. So on today's episode, we are going to be getting into a new mod called Mechanism. Now this looks like a lot of items and that's because it is, but in a nutshell, this mod is all about machines that require power and do stuff. <laughs> now that sounds boring right you might be like fiction dude we already did machines like what do you mean what are you talking about listen not like this all right these machines are when i say op i'm telling you op but we're not just making machines to make machines we're getting into mechanisms so that we can make our first you guys ready for this jetpack now technically this mod does support uh you know like if you were just in vanilla you could make a jetpack really easily just by, you know, using basic vanilla stuff. But that feels pretty cheaty considering that we're in a mod pack. So um, to be honest, I should disable this, but I'm too lazy to do that right now. So I'll just disable it later. Um, but there's other versions of the jetpacks and they're all the same. So for example, this iron jetpack is the same as this low voltage jetpack, which is the same as this basic jetpack, which is the same as this leadstone jetpack. The only thing that changes is the recipes for them and i guess the artwork but then in terms of performance how much power they hold and you know what they do it's the same so we are going to be going with probably the hardest of all of them which honestly i don't mind because i mean it's a freaking jetpack i want to feel like we earned it you know we're going to be going with the mechanism jetpack which as you can see the first tier is just some osmium a basic control circuit which this is already our first machine we're gonna need a metallurgic infuser which don't worry about the words they're just words but uh yeah so we're gonna need to make all of the mechanism machines which to be honest we don't but like if we're gonna get into this mod we might as well get deep into it and then after we make the jetpack we are going to move no fiction what the heck man you said that you were making the jetpack so that you can just you know go from down there to over here and for it to be easy that might be true but I made a uh, slight modification to our mod pack that uh, is going to incentivize us to fly around and look for a new home. And also, truth be told, the reason we're moving out of this area is because this biome is like super laggy. Like you guys can't tell because, you know, we are staying above 60 FPS for most of the time. But that's not good because we really haven't done too much crazy stuff in this area. And the fact that we're already starting to get frame drops is not a good sign. So for the sake of the series, we're going to move. But I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and start crafting. You'll notice that each of these machines has like a color to it. And if we keep going, it gets red. And if we keep going, it'll turn blue. And then after that, it's purple. And I think that's the final stage. Yeah, that's the ultimate. Now, there's not this many machines in mechanism. What it actually is, is different tiers. So all the way at the bottom isn't even the basic. It's actually just a regular block this is pretty much the equivalent of the redstone furnace for the mechanism mod it is called a energized smelter but that thing can be upgraded and turned into a basic smeltering factory and then that can be used to make the advanced and then that can be used to make the elite and so on and so forth until you get to the ultimate version of that machine every machine in mechanism has every single version of it so that's why you see all of this stuff here today we're going to be focusing on getting 
probably basic versions of most of these machines. But to be honest, who knows? I really just want a jetpack. Now at the base of pretty much most of these crafting recipes is osmium. So we're just gonna go ahead and start processing. So osmium, one, it looks really nice as a block, but we don't really want it for that. We want it for the ingots. Now this stuff is used in pretty much every mechanism crafting recipe. It's like this mod packs iron. I went ahead and I added all the like baseline versions of all the machines we're going to make today. And it's actually a good amount of them. So we should probably stop talking and get to crafting. The first machine we're going to need is the metallurgic infuser. And don't worry if you guys don't know what each and every single one of these things does because neither do I. But what I do know is that they're all really, really cool. So let's start with this. Now, I actually lied. I do know what this thing does. And if we look at the name, the metallurgic infuser, um, it's actually in the name what it does. So it will take a raw materials, something like redstone. It'll melt it down. And they see that gives us 10 millibuckets worth. So we'll put another one because this recipe requires 20. And it will infuse it into metal. So if we take the osmium, and apply this 20 redstone to it. Ba -ba -da -ba. Boom, that'll give us a basic control circuit. Now these things we're gonna need a lot of, and if we were to just start spamming redstone in here, we're gonna burn through our redstone instantly. Luckily though, there is a way for us to get more out of each piece of redstone. And that brings us to our next machine, the enrichment chamber. So if we go ahead and look at the recipe, we're gonna need these control things, which we now know how to make. And ooh, we need steel. Okay, so to get steel, we need to smelt steel grit, which is just like the powder form of steel. And you get this by infusing coal or charcoal into enriched iron. And the way that you get the enriched iron is by infusing coal into iron. So pretty much coal into iron gives us the enriched iron and then enriched iron plus more coal gives us steel grit. And honestly, thankfully, we're going to start using our coal because honestly, we have so much of it. It's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, let's go ahead and just throw all of that in there. Now we have 160 millibuckets of carbon and let's see how much this does. Now, honestly, I actually really like the noise and the animations that this machine makes. It's pretty industrial and stuff, but I don't know. We'll probably have to turn it down later. Anyways, though, it seems that per it takes 20. Oh, no, wait, I think it just takes 10. Oh, that's really good. Oh, you have any good traits? Useless. All right, for now, that's enough. This machine is pretty slow at this baseline, but we should just be able to slap this here. Yup, and that'll go ahead and add the carbon into this again. And there's our first piece of grit. Take this, put it in a furnace. Oh, there's some smooth stone, nice. Boop. First piece of steel, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn this down. Oh, the upgrade, let's go. Okay, so the infuser, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't wanna mute it, I still want it to be that loud. For right now, I don't want to add any more carbon in here because just how we can enrich our redstone, we can also enrich our coal. So let's take this, smelt this down, and then we should be able to make nice a steel casing, which we're going to need a ton of these, but whatever. Oh, and we need another one of these. So two more pieces of redstone, some osmium. And, you know, as we start this right now, I'm like showing you guys how we make these basic components because in the future, you know, you guys are going to be smart. And we're just going to skip over this. But now that should be our enrichment chamber. Let's go. So uh, we'll slap this down here. And this thing is pretty cool. So we take one piece of redstone or actually let's do a uh, coal. So we'll take one piece of coal and that'll make its nasty noise. And boom. So that'll give us enriched carbon. So if we compare now, right now, this is empty. If we put one piece of coal in there, that's 10 millibuckets. Now this, which is just one piece of coal, but ran through the enrichment chamber. Boom, that's eight. So just passing it through the, all right, bro. You're making me want to move even faster. Just passing it through here is making it eight times as effective. So we really want to use this for everything pretty much. Anyways, we take this enriched carbon, go over here and slap this in there. and oh my god let's go yeah so that is super worth now we're gonna let that steel continue processing while we pick out our next machine so now to be honest though we actually don't have to make every single one of these machines especially because we are going to move so no need to set everything up over here and there is overlap like for example this crusher is 
pretty much the pulverizer and this energized smelter is pretty much the redstone furnace now technically we can upgrade these to make them way faster than this and actually process multiple things at the same time but like realistically we're just trying to make a jetpack so the base jetpack is just some of this and ooh, okay so can we make these cables yeah that's steel and redstone which by the way these universal cables these are way better than these garbage cables over here yeah, it's going to be a while before we can make a mechanism machine that's faster than our redstone furnace. But trust me, mechanism is way more powerful than these basic machines right here. And I love how we're calling them basic, though, even though they were like literally the fastest thing we could make up until now. But these cables, oh my god, this feels so good, guys. You have no idea. These cables right here, they suck. Whereas these, not only do they look way, way cooler, but... They're also like just much more effective. Like they can carry much more power. Holy crap, that looks really cool. Maybe we should upgrade the metallurgic infuser. How do we do that? Because already we're just here waiting for it. So what's the basic version of this? All right, Um. oh, this is not that bad. It's literally just, okay. Unfortunately though, I already threw in all our carbon in there. So I'm just gonna make another one. Thankfully, though, these are really easy to make, so we can just go ahead, make another one, and we'll just slap this here for now. Actually, nah, let's put them on top of each other. And this one's going to be for redstone. So we have our enriched redstone, which is the same. So one of these, boom, eight of one redstone. So we're just going to put a couple of these in here, throw some osmium in here. Dude, this is so cool. We're already getting into mechanism. We got freaking infusers going. We got enrichment chambers going. We got the sexy cables like, oh. But let's see, in the meantime, while that's happening, how about this? How do we make this? Steel casing, energy tablet, which is gold, infused alloy, which is iron plus redstone, really easy. And that's about it. And we just need two thrusters. Okay, this is actually really easy to make now that we have all these machines made. I'm actually going to turn these down a little bit more just because they're so persistent that like, I don't know, I, I like having the audio on, but I, I don't like getting my ears droned out. Anyways, this is empty, so we'll go here, break this off, and now we should be able to make the basic version of it, which, boom, nice. So how does this one operate? Holy crap. Okay, so it has three slots, so I'm pretty sure that that means that if we take this enriched iron, throw it up here, and we can actually do this thing called auto sort, which it will evenly disperse things when we put it in there. And then if we go ahead and just add some carbon in here, yes, three at a time. And also just like our redstone furnace, this has its own way to upgrade like the speed of which how it does things. But dude, this is already three times as fast as this one. Pretty easy to see how crazy this mod can get. And now I'm pretty sure we have everything that we need to make this jetpack. So we need the steel casings. And to be honest, I'm just gonna make four of these because we're gonna need a couple of them anyways. Um, and energy tablets. Oh, we need infused alloy, which right, we know how to make this. Oh, this is so cool. Redstone plus iron, and that should give us all the stuff that we need. Okay, I think that it's six is enough. So we go here. Make two of these. Oh, actually. Oh, no, this is getting charged. Wait a sec. Chill. We don't need to charge these. Where's our flux? Off. <laughs> these can uh, hold power, as you can see, but we don't need to charge them yet. But we do need more, though. We're now starting to get to the point of the mod pack where we are cooking through stuff. So that's one and two, which also a really cool thing. It keeps the, whatever power that you put in it. So boom, we can make one of these. I wonder why we can't make two. Oh, we can, okay, perfect. So that's two of those. That's the leather strap and holy crap, we now have a jetpack. Oh, oh basic jetpack. So let's throw this in here, charge it up. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect this to make the jetpack this quickly, but here we are. So take this off, put this on. Oh my God. You guys ready? Test flight. One, two, three. I, I don't have the engine on. Hold on. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty loud. Um, <laughs> that's pretty loud. We're gonna have to adjust that, but 
we have a jetpack. Now, to be honest, this kind of sucks. Like, this is pretty slow, but I mean, it's flight, isn't it? Yeah, we definitely have to lower the volume of this, though. I like the audio, but I want it to be like in the background. You know, I don't need to hear the freaking engine just freaking, you know, like we can chill off that. Um, but we still can take fall damage, so got to be careful. See, to be honest, this is not even faster than running. So let's start working on the next tier. And the next tier is Osmium Advanced Thrusters, which requires, ooh, advanced universal cables. They're actually not that hard to make. It's literally just, wow, that's really easy, actually. What the hell? And then we take these and some of this. Oh, man. Advanced universal cables. Now, what does this look like? Oh, these look sick. Okay, I like this. Um, but let's break them off because... These individually can actually hold RF, so right there we probably just like leaked like 20,000 power or something like that. But anyways though, uh, we also need an advanced control circuit, which this is easy for us to make. Uh, oh, we need more infused alloy. Um, so we're going to need more of these cubes, which means we need more of these tablets. So we need another four. Oh yeah, this is losing a lot of redstone and gold, which again, we do not have that much. Holy crap, that's another stack of iron gone. Another four energy tablets, jeez. Oh my god, okay, we can make these two. We need more infused alloy, oh my god. But anyways though, that should be two of these. Yes, okay. And holy crap, already tier two. Oh my god, Dude, we're flying through this advanced jetpack, boys. All right, charge it up. Yeah, you guys gotta be proud of me. We are cooking through this mod right now. But I'll be honest, though, I'm not really surprised. We are also cooking through resources. So if we equip this. Okay, well, it goes up a little faster. Oh, but yeah, look at the difference in speed, though. This is faster than running. See, this is dope. I like this. And not only that, but I think that this one has some more features. Hover mode. So if we click this and then let go of space, we slowly fall down. Now this is really useful for like building. So let's say we were like, oh, I want to place something up here next to this uh, pretty skeleton. Well, you know, we'd be able to, you know, build like this. Also quick keybinds. If you press H, that brings up the, you know, hover mode or not hover mode. If you press J, that turns on and off the jetpack. And if you press K, it brings up this little module where you can bring up other things. But if we make better backpacks, not only will our hover mode be better, but we will also get other features like the emergency hover and the charger. But we're not there yet. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that we can make a better backpack right now. Did I say backpack? I meant jetpack. Uh, because the next tier is the elite and the reinforced alloy is diamonds. So we need to actually infuse diamonds <laughs> into the infused alloy. And then that'll give us the reinforced alloys that we need, which will give us the better cables. Um, that's not that bad, but we need a good amount of them here. That's still not that bad. But then we need to make these four more over here on top of this, on top of this. Um, and if we do that, we are dead ass going to run out of everything. Now, here's the thing, guys. I'm going to be honest. Um, I, I didn't expect to uh, get to the end of the jetpack route that quickly. So I guess that brings us to our next thing. But wait, before we leave, I actually just realized this isn't the final version of the advanced jetpack. We can actually combine this with armor plating in order to actually have armor on while we have our jetpack. So how do we make this? <gasps> All right, that's not that bad. Okay. Boom, some of that, that, slap those two together. Boom, armored. So now if you look at our armor slot, that is pretty much like if we're wearing armor. And oh, that actually, that actually looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. But now we can have armor so we can feel safe and fly. So, Faction, what were you talking about earlier when you said that, you know, you added something to the mod pack? Well, I might have changed our world's generation. And by change world's generation, I mean that I actually added biomes of plenty to our mod pack. So as you can see right here, there was a clear line of things that we generated without biomes of plenty in the pack and now with biomes of plenty. So if we just go this way, 
we should be able to find new and interesting biomes. I wanted to explain kind of like my philosophy as to why I added this mod. So Biomes of Plenty is pretty much just a mod that adds a ton of different biomes to the game. And honestly, my main reasoning behind it was I wanted... Oh my god, I was not expecting there to be a hole there. Jeez. I wanted more wood types. So if we go into the Biomes of Plenty, um, you'll see that there is actually a whole bunch of different planks. And this is just going to add a lot to the game because having like more planks and just more things to build with in general is going to make our builds way nicer. And not only that, but I wanted our world to be a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to fly around for a bit and I'll meet back with you guys once I find something like kind of cool. Oh, what is that? Okay, let me in. Ooh, cake. Oh, is this another one of those dungeons? Oh, it is. Wait, auto smell? Hold on. You telling me if I use this pickaxe on this cobble, it's just going to give me stone? Oh my God, that's exactly what it does. Yo, will this give me iron? Yeah. All right, that's a pretty cool enchant. That's pretty cool. Excavate one. All right, what does this enchant do? Is it like vein miner? Oh, it's like vein miner. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, dude, these drive-by endermen they didn't even know what's gonna hit them. Hey, buddy, dude, the combination of the extra reach of our sword plus the jetpack. Jeez. All right, guys. So I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I flew around for a bit. You know, we used uh, like. A million and a half power, but I'm not even really worried about that. The thing is, um, I want to find a new biome to live in, but like, I actually wasn't really able to find any like new cool biomes. And in order to do that, we're going to need to fly a little bit faster. Like this is cool and all like this is pretty good, but it's still if I had to guess like only twice as fast as just regular running. So we're doing it. We are going to push to make the elite jetpack. I think that this will be fast enough for us to be able to actually, uh, you know, enjoy flying. Really quick, let me do some math just to see how many diamonds we're going to need for this. Okay, I just did the math. We're going to need 16 of these reinforced alloys. So each diamond will give us four of these. So we need four diamonds. That'll give us this. So honestly, that's not that bad. The real issue comes with these. These are the problem, the energy tablets, because we're going to need gold, and redstone for them. So you know what? Your boy's gonna go in a mining montage. Now, let's see if we can uh, try our luck and get blessed. Ooh, close. No fortune. All right, well, before we go mining, let's see how far we can get with our current materials. Because who knows, maybe we might not have to go mining. All right, so we'll start working on making more of the infused alloy. And we'll take four diamonds i believe it is we'll take it slow but i think it's four diamonds and yes we can enrich these okay Whew. imagine we had to do these raw so that's one enriched diamond and if we throw that in there and then throw this in there that should consume 20 of this nice and then give us these okay good so i guess yeah we're gonna need four diamonds oh this is so so sad oh my god rip diamonds Dude, I'm actually really enjoying how this mod works. I like this. It's very straightforward and easy to see how things work. Uh, now, these enriched diamonds are not that cheap to come by. So that makes another four. That'll make another four. And then this will make another four. I'm pretty sure our limiting factor is going to be gold from the energy tablets. I don't think that 25 gold is going to be enough. Two, four, six tablets per and we have one already made so so that means that we need to make nine of these each one requires three gold three times nine is 27 so we're too short damn you know sometimes i i hate being good at math because i just made myself really sad with that math right there okay let's see if we can't find some like gold on the walls or something Oh, okay. There it is. Okay, <laughs> nice. All right, well, that was a very nice trip. <laughs> oh, I saw you, buddy. That's eight right there. Holy crap. That's nine total and we need 10. Oh my God. I actually, guys, I think we're going to be able to make this. Check it out. That made the 16 reinforced alloy. 
I believe we need 17 of it. Now let's work our way up the line. Dude, I hope you guys are learning this uh, mod as quickly as I am. Wait, no, not that. Because honestly, it feels pretty simple. So these advanced and then, oh, we actually need more energy tablets. Good thing we found more gold. And then here's the elites, which, ooh, these actually require gold. You hate to see it, but I think we'll make it. And then, yeah, it's the elite that is needed for these. So that's already done. We have one. We only need two more of these tablets. So we do that. Do that. And boom. Now we have two of these. Uh, then for the thruster, all we're missing is an elite control circuit, which is just an advanced control circuit. So we can make these. Let's make three of the advanced. And then three of these. We're starting to run low on a reinforced. You hate to see it. And yeah, so for the elite universal cable, we need to use one of these. So unfortunately, we are going to have to use another diamond. Now it seems like nothing else in the game uses the diamonds. So we're just going to make the rest of these into the reinforced. But if we take this extra one that we have and surround it in the advanced cables that will go to the universal cable, which these can hold 400,000 RF per tick, which is kind of insane. But boom, that's one. Oh my God. And that's two. Can we craft this? Yes. Oh my God. Yo, here we go. Wait. Oh, we need this one. Okay. Well, I guess we wasted a little bit of materials putting the armor on there, but if we didn't, we would have died. Oh, it gives it back. Okay. Never mind. No waste. Holy crap. Elite jetpack. Dude, let's go. I'll be honest. I didn't expect us to be able to make that, but we freaking did. Let's go. This is pretty easy. It's just obsidian on the diamond stuff. I mean, we're not, we don't have enough diamonds to make more, but like, that's not that hard. And what about this? Universal cable, which is just the atomic alloy. That's pretty easy. And this is just this. Yeah, it's the same thing, but just the next tier, which is just obsidian. Yo, this is actually not that hard. We're going to be able to do that eventually. Not right now, because we, we dead ass do not have enough redstone, gold, osmium, or diamonds to make it. But like, that's sick. All right, 4 million RF. Dude, I'm actually so hyped to test this one out. Oh my God, yes. Dude, this jetpack is way better in terms of speed. Okay, you guys ready to go forward? Let's do it. Oh, dude. See, this is, dude, this is almost like creative flight. Oh, wait. And also, if you guys see right there, we actually have unlocked the E hover, which stands for emergency hover. So if we enable that, I'm pretty sure that means that we can just not have hover mode on, fall, and the jetpack should save us. Yup. Hey, perfect. That's safety. You love to see it. Also, this hover mode is way better. So remember the other one? We were like falling down pretty quickly. This one is pretty good for building. All right. So I'm just going to fly back and forth between the dungeon and here and try to roll enchants so that we can get fortune and then go mining. All right, guys, I couldn't help myself, but uh, I started flying in a random direction. And guess what I found? New biome. Wait, 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 wait. Go the wrong way. New biome. Check it out. Already our first biomes of plenty biome. And there's actually another like new biome over here. Like, look at these trees. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, dude. Seasonal forest already. Some cool ass stuff. See, this is why we added biomes of plenty. Now, here's the thing. I don't actually have this one armored. Uh, and honestly, that's because this one requires more diamonds to get the armor and we don't have the diamonds. So, all right, <laughs> I was, uh, I was pretty busy down there, but we're going to be able to roll in case we don't get it like there. We did not get it. So we can do this, do that, see what it says. Okay. It's still holding. Okay. We just got scammed. All right, bro, please. All right, please. Yes. Oh my God. Let's go. 
Holy crap. I honestly, I was about to be so sad if we had to go back another round, dude. Oh, guys, dude, this enchant reach is insane. You know, what? I'm just going to do it just for the content. Look at this. Check out this enchant. So when we have a piece of gear with uh, reach on it, look at how far we can swing. That's insane. And it also applies to blocks, too. So we can literally look how far we can place this. This enchant is insane. All right. Anyways, though, um, that was actually like 40 minutes of time because we died and then we had to like re get the 30 levels. That was that was really bad. But uh, I'm going to go mining. And now that we have fortune and silk touch, we're going to make some serious profits. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit because we today are getting the maxed out freaking jetpack. Let's do it. Now, before we go down there, though, I do want to upgrade our pocket storage to the next tier. So boom. Boom. So this is going to take us from holding 16 items of 40.95 to 32 items, 65,000 of each. So this thing is insane now. Let's just see what happens. Are we get any of that? Oh, we did. Oh, that was good. Jesus Christ. We already have a stack and a half of obsidian and we found diamonds. Now this method is OP OP. I think we're good on mining. Yeah, I mean I can honestly do this forever. I I <laughs> this is such a fun way to mine. But uh yeah, I think we're chilling. 37 stacks of diamond. Alright, I'm gonna speed this tunnel up, but just look at how far we went. And we're home. <laughs> and honestly, we just brought in so much iron that we might as well just do like a full stack or as much as this will allow us to do. And we'll, we're just going to convert all of this into steel. Because between making power cables and just crafting a ton, we're going to use it. We'll enrich four diamonds, throw this 32 obsidian, enrich that, and then we'll just go back to coal. Alright, well, let's start working on these speed upgrades. So, let's go ahead and make eight of them. So I can show you guys. So when we go over here to the upgrade section, when we add them, it actually goes in one at a time. It goes up and up and up and up. And eventually, once they're all done installing, times 256% speed. We're going to use multiple of this. Like, this is not the last that we're going to use of it. So honestly, let's just send it. Oh, but our power cannot keep up. <laughs> it's too fast. Okay, we need to make the energy upgrades because we can make this machine more efficient so it doesn't use as much energy. So we have 16 infused now and this stuff can get enriched. So this is actually a really good amount of this obsidian stuff. I like that. But anyways, boom, eight of these. And now we should be able to install these. And look at the power on top start increasing. Before it was staying even, now it's increasing. So not only can this block hold more power, but it actually is 10 times more efficient because of the upgrades we put in. So now I wonder if we can put in all of the speed upgrades, if it'll keep up. But yeah, look, it's keeping up. So look at that. Dude, this is awesome. Now we have a super fast machine. Dude, this is sick. This is sick. Oh, whew, I thought we were out. I was about to be so sad. Nice. So that's two elites. And then those get turned into the ultimates, which we just need straight up diamonds for. So that's another four diamonds. But one more tablet. Oh, my God. Holy crap. We actually have two ultimate cubes. Dude, these things can hold a hundred million RF. <laughs> That's actually insane. Dude, I would love to slap one of these down, but gotta go into the jetpack. Okay, so that's done. Now we just need to make this, which we have the resources for. Yep, we already made that. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Can you imagine I threw it in the trash can? <laughs> Guys. Ultimate jetpack. Wait, holy crap, it keeps your enchantments. Wow, that's actually OP as well. 
Uh, now, there's no way we're going to be able to charge this off of our current network. So we'll just... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that just drained it so quickly. Honestly, when we first started this episode, I thought we were just going to get to like the tier 2 backpack. But like, I said backpack. I meant jetpack. But I thought we were only going to get to the tier 2. But like, nah, I'm actually hella proud of us. We just took it to the extreme. Maxed it out. Let's test it. Okay, it goes up pretty quickly. What about forward? Does it move fast? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's enable hover mode. Dude, this is fast. This is like spectator mode fast. Oh, also, the hover mode is really good. It doesn't even... Like, if you're just floating here, it doesn't even feel like you're falling. The only way you can really tell is if you, like, look at a block up close. Dude, this jetpack is insane. Dude, nah, dude, look how fast this shit is, yo. All right, so uh, it's the next day and we're back. I still can't get over how freaking fast this jetpack is. Like we are zooming. I'm going to go fly around to random places and hopefully we can find a dope new area to live. After some serious flying, <laughs> I uh, found a couple of places. Oh, that's where I died. That would be worth checking out. So I really found two places that I kind of want to live at. So let's head there now. So this right here is a grove. Now, honestly, I don't know what it is about this biome, but it just feels really cozy. Like, I really like how the trees are. I like the little mix of podzol. And I don't know, it just feels very homey. And to give you guys a general idea of like more or less where we're at, this is that grove biome. Then there's some prairie over here, wetlands over here and here, which are honestly really nice, but I kind of like this area. And also right next to the grove, we actually have the lilac fields. So we could use this to like, I don't know, build something kind of cute over here. Like maybe we'll connect the two areas or something like that. Anyways, though, let's go into the next area. Okay. And this is the Redwood Forest. Now, this biome is insanely dense. Like, there's so much tree here. It's almost, like, difficult to comprehend how thick this forest is. But, you know, we could just chop down a couple of these trees and then build a home in between everything. Honestly, guys, to give you guys some base plans, I want to build a lot of different buildings. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Like, we're probably not going to have one super big mega base. I think the way that I want to set things up is that we have a whole bunch of different buildings and they're all connected to each other. I think that would look a lot cooler. Let's not die again, please. So maybe it would be kind of cool to have like a waterfront property and then we like build different buildings throughout the Redwood Forest. Right? Only chopping trees wherever we have to. The only downside to this area, though, is that it is a bit laggy, which is what we're trying to avoid. So it might be better for us to live in the other place and, you know, build several buildings, you know, in the grove and then to the lilac area because, you know, less lag equals more better. So you're like, look, look at the grove already way more FPS. So over here, I'm kind of imagining the same thing. You know, we build like a nice little town and then we can maybe bridge over to the lilac area. Also a meteorite crasher. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can bridge over to the lilac area and that would look really cool. And then maybe we do something with this like tiny wetland over here. Like there's just a lot of cool stuff that we can do here. To be honest, I'm kind of leaning more towards this area just because of the FPS things. But I don't know. You guys let me know. Also, just so you guys can have a little bit of context as to how much power that uses, flying from here to over here, which is like around 3,000 blocks, that actually drained 6 million RF from our flux capacitor. So yeah, we really, really want to get that fuel efficiency. Yep, there it is. We want to get this enchantment on our jetpack. Anyways, though, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Simply Modded. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and put it in the comments down below which area you think would be cooler. Biome number one, which is like the grove with the wetlands and the lilac or 
the biome choice number two, which is the Redwood Forest. I want to get feedback from you guys, but keep in mind the FPS thing is a pretty big deal to me. So I will hold the final judgment on where we're going to live. Hope you guys had fun. I'm really happy that we made this jetpack and I'm really excited to get into the next phase of the modded series. So that's going to do it. Hope everybody have fun and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Simply Modded. Peace out everybody. <laughs>